Hit Film Sensei here. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to download the lightsaber presets that you will need to make your lightsaber video. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pull up your web browser and you're going to go to inscapedigital.com slash presets. You can go to Inkscape Digital, the homepage, if you like, and on that page, there's all kinds of you know information and, and all kinds of neat stuff. And if you go to the preset marketplace tab and click on that, that'll get you to the same place, okay? Scrolling down, what you'll do is you'll start searching through all of these different presets, and there's a bunch of them, and you'll really like them, okay? Look for this one right here, the Light Sword for Hit Film Express by, oh, yours truly. That's me and my son right there. And what you do is, is you just click on it, pow and it will download it for you, okay? And it's in a zip file, so what you'll do is you will open up that zip file and find the light sword preset and copy that into your place that you wanna put it, okay? From here, then they has everything in there, including the instructions on how to do it, okay? And how to actually make your uh, uh, light swords as well. Okay, when you have that in there, what you do then is you go into HitFilm. In HitFilm, what you're going to do is, is you're going to go to your Effects tab, Presets, right? And you right click on that and you say make a new folder, okay? And you want to call that folder your Inkscape Digital Presets. In that, you'll right click there and make a new folder. And you want to call that folder Lightsaber Presets. Okay, then you're going to right click on that and click on import presets and import those presets that you've extracted from the zip file. And it's that simple. So now that you have the presets, you'll be ready to actually uh, make your lightsaber movie. If you wanna learn how to actually do or make that preset yourself, in other words, create the lightsaber look yourself, and you want to learn some tips on how to make some adjustments and change uh, those presets to make them look a little bit different. There, I have a video on that too. The link is in the description below. Otherwise, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. And thanks for watching.